Namaste beautiful yogis. So welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are starting the new 30 day body hacking program. And the first day is going to be called the law of liberty. A quick orientation and then we'll begin with the class. Um, what to expect? Expect a new class every morning from me. I'll upload it at 12 p.m. Pacific time. So at some time in your morning time, you will receive the new class. All I ask from you is to be persistent and to get excited because we're creating a new path, a new vision. We're manifesting a new level of health, emotionally, mentally, and physically. And we're going to touch up on many new subjects. We're going to open up into different territories and get inspired, get excited, get healthy, get fit. Of course, you're here to get fit and that will be almost like the side effect of doing all this expansion work. And we will start this year on this positive, uplifting, expansive note and the sky's the limit. So get excited, be prepared every day for the new class. I'm very grateful, thankful, and excited to spend the next 30 days with you, um, to share this space with you. And remember to flow with love, strength, and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, we're going to circle, draw circles with the fingertips. Take a big breath in. And in your mind's eye, whatever you're envisioning about your own path, experience it as if it's already happened. Part of money, but the biggest secret about manifesting is feeling it, experiencing it, experiencing it in the present. And from here, we're going to um, scoop up water. So from here, shift onto your right leg, and you're going to cross with the left leg back and as if you're scooping up water and you can pour it over yourself let's go straight back i want you to really reach back you can even glide your leg scoop up come up straight back scoop up it's a very mild cross back lunge activating the glutes and we're going to change sides cleansing water you can rinse yourself of of the old of the things that no longer serve you of what's holding you back what's mudding up your waters great and we're going to Step onto the right leg, step the left leg straight back in high lunge, open here, so the heart is open, we're receiving, in, we're in a receptive pose and step at the front. And again, this is a dynamic warm up. Three, four, five, six and seven opposite side and the sky is the limit see yourself free from your own limitations from your own imprisonment great from here, we're going to shift the way onto the right leg and circle the left leg from the front all the way to the back and leave behind. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's take the long side of the mat. You can have uh, the length of the mat to your right. Standing upright, pay attention to your chest, shoulders, neck, elongating, <sighs> grounding through the feet. We always want to be standing very firm on the ground, especially with the quote unquote more spiritual work or visualizations and all of that. We want to be embodied. We want to come from a place of feeling the body and that's why we'll do somatic movement and all of that because we want to feel and experience the body and be grounded we want to experience operate from intuition good level intuition third eye etc all right from here we're going to step the right uh, leg out in a right uh, side lunge and back one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're going to go over to the other side. One, two, Push the booty back, push the hips back. Belly in. Great. Shake it out. We're going to come up onto the tippy toes and drop onto the heels. Soft knees and just drop and feel the reverberation from the ground. This is moving through your bones, tissues, fascia blood. It's helping you move the blood, strengthen the bones, move the lymph. A couple more. All right, we'll move into stretching or side stretching with, with the legs. So left side of the mat now. The mat is on your left. And we're going to take a side lunge with, with a stretch. So right arm comes over and reverse it back to the start. Two. We're also breaking up our own old patterns of movement. The body holds a lot of mental patterns as we break out physically we're able to to function uh, with a different flow in our own reality last one and let's change to the other side Push the hips back. All right, from here we're gonna do our first stomach vacuum. For stomach vacuums, I really started heavily using them in classes. Um, in my postpartum series for stomach vacuums 
you are going to hollow empty um, empty your belly and you're drawing your abdominal wall back towards towards the spine um, it may take you a few time, times no big deal you, everybody knows how stomach vacuums look you can and ideally i recommend you lean forward so that that helps you um, um, mechanically uh, execute the pose better now you could also feel um, your neck pulling in that's one of the bandas and um, you can also utilize holding your mula bandha so your pelvic floor is lifting mula bandha is one of the bandhas it's it's the same uh, idea as uh, squeezing not to pee it's not the same same thing but you're gonna over time isolate it's an energetic point there is a muscle and energy um, uh, <laughs> a culmination there and you can lift that semi-anatomic and more so energetic structure you can give it a lift and it's also very similar to kegels um, but it is its own thing but it is similar to all those things that i mentioned so if you just pretend that you're squeezing not to pee or you're doing the kegels it's kind of the same thing um, but it is an energetic structure as well because it's a band it's an energy point um, now uh, and instead of squeezing think of lifting um, with the stomach you can give it a few tries we're going to do a few stomachs through different classes so you can practice um, that the reason why we want to lift mula bandha is because if you have weak pelvic floor you're pushing down on it with all that uh, with all that action here so you want to lift up everything the organs lifting up so we're actually moving up moving the organs everything all right the pelvic floor is not getting pressure on it and that very much um, is something more so for uh, postpartum or for um, anybody with prolapse etc you want to feel a lift up all right let's go so you're gonna exhale and draw in Should we do two more? Let's do two more practice. <laughs> Last one. and inhale reach over the head exhale dive down inhale look ahead spread the fingers wide open plank here we're going to bring the right knee in and step it on on the left side across from your body underneath and across and back two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and shake it out we'll go to the other side when you shake it out that's a very energetic move shake out the old crusty um, dusty elements of you that which you're shedding yourself from letting go of so that you can create a new envision a new crystalline structure a new sparkly crystalline you all right opposite side one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower down onto all fours. Here you can shift side to side. Moving the spine. And take your toes under. Downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, and take warrior two. So for warrior two, you're going to point the right foot and knee forward. Left, left foot opens about 30 to 60 degrees. Lifting the arches of the feet, open the toes. Heel to heel alignment. You can, um, you can adjust however here feels, um, feels uh, correct in your body, um, but at the same time make sure that your knee is pointing directly forward. Uh, for many, especially if you're a beginner, your knee will tend to draw inward. You want to resist that and point it forward. Externally rotate the left hip and drop the shoulder, so no tension in the shoulders. That's on the right, palm up, reach up. And side, side, side angle here. You can either place your um, forearm over your knee or your hand on the floor. Again, relax the shoulders, externally rotate the right hip, reach over the head. Great, from here, let's bring the left hand down, lift the back heel up, take the right arm up. Twisting here, lengthen, move through your core. And reach over the head, lengthen. All right, time for side plank. If you're a complete beginner, you can have your right foot in front of you, left hand and left foot on the floor and hold, hold here. But if you've been with me, you can take the side plank and let's get started with crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. Take side plank on the right hand and you can adjust again and let's go. Either hold it or crunch it. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, take your left leg to the front and start it with a twist. You're going to bring the left arm up, forward, turn the palm of the hand down. From here, face down and drop the back heel down and you're going to come up and take side angle. Push the left knee back, relax the shoulders, warrior two. 
and you can reverse. Straighten the knees, take the length of your mat and open into plie. All right, let's stretch one and you're going to straighten that leg plie pose. Two, straighten the legs and reach over. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. From here, we're gonna take side lunge. Step onto your right foot, right leg. Take the left leg behind, cross back, lunge, and you're going to kick out in stages. First, unfold the knee and then kick through the heel. Slow motion kick that is. Push the hips back when you're here. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and opposite side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And a few hip circles. From here, come to the front. Imagine that there is bright light. Uh, it can be glitter, it can be a white light, golden light, sparkling light, sparkling water, etc. But just imagine that your hands emit, which they do, light, and just shower it upon yourself. We're, we're renewing ourselves. Everything starts with the vision, that's why I named it the law of liberty. You within yourself have the power to liberate yourself from your own chains. And it may sound out there and lofty and all of that, but the reality is that reality is a perception and all is mind, everything is mind. So everything starts with the inner work. And if we rinse our body, clean, if we let go of all the stuff that holds us back, all, all the emotions that we drag around that hook us into the past. The past usually doesn't allow us to expand if we're too attached to it because there is always regret and guilt and all of that or longing and all of those emo emotions in excess stop us from moving forward, from becoming the renewed version of ourselves because we're always meant to evolve to shift, to expand, to, to attain a purer virtue. So if we're good, to expand on that, if we love, to love in a purer way, etc. So shower yourself with your own light, with your own um, crystalline light or crystalline beauty, or which rinse yourself. And now we're gonna splash up so that we're moving the energy also up. and feel renewed. Great, inhale, reach, exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead, plank. We're going to shift the hips side to side, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull the belly in, ten more. And we're going to step the feet about 
mat width apart and we're going to tap the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. From here, come up onto your knees, bring your hands onto your booty, walk your elbows in, lift and look up. You can press your chin forward so that you can stretch all of that structure here. Or soften the chin, relax. And sit down in a comfortable position. We're going to twist here. Bring the left hand to your right knee, look behind you, opposite side. Extend the right leg on the floor, left ankle above the right knee. Inhale, reach, exhale, stretch. And release opposite side, flex the foot. Gently press the knees away from you without force or tension and stretch on this side. A strap can be used here. Beautiful side to side reaches. So sit comfortably and you're going to glide your right hand your right elbow in shoulder free reach over and drop the booty down elongating the obliques change great and hands over the heart we are done for today thank you for joining me easy does it simple as that we've completed the first day you've completed the first day good job and uh, remember to share the classes to give them a like to um, subscribe to hit the notification button and all of that so that i can get the classes out i really would love um, to hear from you post in the comments below um, uh, any impressions any requests etc i would love to hear back from you and remember to flow with love strength and ease